Rafael from Plugin India and I'm very excited to tell you that a few weeks ago our team had gone to Bangalore where we organized our Let Us Breathe event. Now this is an event which is centered around clean air and the way to get that clean air is to drive electric vehicles which don't pollute at least locally and they have an option to use clean energy in the future which will make our air clean. Now this event was meant to show people that you can actually adopt electric vehicles right away. The future is here now and we can adopt it right away. So stay tuned to this channel and all our social media channels for updates about this event. So at Bangalore, we were invited to visit the R&D office of Aether Energy. The hip and trendy and cool team of Aether Energy was very happy to show us the enticing features of the Aether S340. At the Aether Energy office, we met with Swapnil Jain, who is co-founder of this company. He is also the chief technology officer. And so far, Aether Energy has been very hush-hush about all the development that has been going on. Of course, they do publish a blog and a newsletter. But this time, they were very enthusiastic to show us all the exciting new features of the S340. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Swapnil, co-founder of Aether. I work in the capacity of uh, CTO and uh, um, we will walk you through the, uh, uh, the features of SC40 uh, uh, trying, to, uh, trying to probably introduce the, the, the most significant things which you have done for the past, uh, past four years and how, how that will affect it, uh, uh, how it will be a game changer in the whole uh, EV industry itself. So uh, first let's talk about the, the, the vehicle aspects uh, in itself. The, which means the your, your speed, your gradability, your, your ride and handling. Um, uh, we have a we have a three kilowatt uh, uh, continuous power motor on the vehicle, which 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 ensures that you get a, get about a about a seventy two kilometer per hour as a as a top speed, and and this is a this is a continuous power, so it's not you can just reach it for for a moment and then it, it dies down. It will get a continuous seventy two kilometer per hour speed. Uh, the three kilowatt power with enough torque ensures that you never have a problem with a pillion rider or, or how steep the gradient it is. You have tested it in one of the steepest malls and parking lots at, at, in Bangalore. So you will never have uh, those kind of uh, issues. Uh, the, the ride and handling, we have, we have, we have taken enough, uh, uh, enough effort to ensure that the, the weight distribution is, is as low as possible and, 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 and as centered as, as possible. To give you a, a, a great grip on the on the road, so uh, you, compared to any other any other scooter, when you ride an SC40, you, you, you actually will never feel any uh, any loss of confidence when you take sharp corners. So that that, that has taken a, a a lot of engineering on how we position our battery pack, how we position our motor, um, uh, simple things like uh, probably the reason why we actually are not using a hub motor and why we using a frame motor. The, the kind of weight distribution you have on the wheel itself makes a, makes a lot of difference. So, uh, ensuring the uh, the ride and handling was, uh, was 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 very critical for us because uh, that that's what makes a vehicle a, a vehicle. So, Sopnel said something about continuous motor power, and the number a very important number over here is three thousand watts, which is three kilowatts. That's what the Aether S three forty is offering. Whereas most of the product in the market today is five hundred to eight hundred watts and it is only 25 to 30 kilometers per hour. There are quite a few models which are planned with 1500 to 1800 watts, but 3000 watts is a much bigger improvement over that. A 3 kilowatt motor will ensure that the S340's motor will compete with and at times even outperform normal uh, 125cc petrol scooters. This is something that the electrical, well, electric vehicle community has really been looking forward to. Because of these deficiencies in electric scooters, the adoption has been slow. But now with the S340 coming in, we feel that this product will really compete and outperform other products available in the market, period. Not important whether it is electrical or petrol or any other type of fuel. So we also like the fact that the Aether S340 is not using a hub motor like all other scooters in the market. This is going to use a motor which is going to be mounted in the frame in the center of the bike. A belt will transfer the power to the wheel. This ensures better torque and better top line performance. This is something that we've been really looking forward to. What happens with those hub motors is that they have very good pickup, but they tend to struggle once you get to the max speed. That's where this mid-mounted frame mounted motor will really outperform. 
the ATA S340 is motor is mid mounted which allows for much better uh, weight distribution this improves the performance by a lot and there is no unsprung mass at the rear a heavy wheel which is clunking around on the road so this really improves the ride performance stability and quality of ride of the scooter then talking about the electric aspects of it uh, uh, we have a we have a EGM and battery pack which which ensures that you get good enough range without adding too much of weight on the vehicle at the same time you can get a fast charging so uh, uh, we have we have an onboard charger which gives you about a, about a 4 hour uh, charging time and uh, but if you are stuck in a, in a situation where we need to really charge faster then we we are setting up charging infrastructure uh, across cities uh, which will ensure that you are uh, you are very much near to a, the, the next charging station and you can drive uh, right down to the, the the charging station and and ensure that you get the uh, get a fast charge so the, the fast charge will actually take you about one and a half hour to get a full charge on on the vehicle so uh, that takes care of most of the, the vehicle aspects and, and how uh, how uh, we have ensured that uh, uh, riding a uh, an, uh, an ATA will be no different in experience uh, uh, from a uh, riding a regular two wheeler as far as uh, uh, the basic uh, specs are concerned it will always be way above the uh, the experience we love the fact that the ATA S340 offers both slow and fast charging options for the life of lithium ion batteries it is better to slow charge on a day to day basis and occasionally when you need to ride additional long distances you can fast charge at one of the ATA charging stations so ATA didn't reveal the exact numbers and uh, about the quick charging but we know from uh, the specifications that they have a 2 kilowatt hour battery pack and if it can quick charge in uh, about 1 and 1/2 hours then it's charging at a rate of about less than 1 kilowatt so uh, we will let you know the numbers as we get them We are also excited about charging stations. Ather is setting up charge points all around the city of Bangalore, and they call these charge stations the Ather Grid. We and they are bound to announce them very soon. So we love the fact that Ather offers quick and slow charging options. It also has a seven-inch touchscreen. Now, not only does it show you the speed and the state of charge of the battery, but it also allows you to navigate, play around, have profiles. This is absolutely brilliant. And the Ather SC40 reports telemetry. instantaneously to the company and that way they can monitor your battery pack they can monitor individual cell voltages they can find out if the motor is overheating and this way they can address customer issues even before the customer knows they have an issue this kind of proactive issue finding fault finding and fixing will definitely lead to lesser support calls going to ether and much greater customer satisfaction we really look forward to this product It's going to take a few months for Ather to start delivering its first scooter to its first customer. Until then, stay tuned to Plug in India. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.